Next, we can add 2 plus 6 to get the total. Yuna, what is 2 plus 6? I think it's 8 bears. Hi, I'm Yuna, the unicorn. Come learn along with me and Super Teacher. Super Teacher! Good afternoon, Yuna. You've been working so hard with your learning. I thought it would be a good idea if we went on an addition safari to do math with animals. Shh, don't worry. It's only a pretend safari. I'm not old enough to drive yet. Yuna, do you have a favorite safari animal? I like giraffes. They have long necks and eat leaves way up high. Giraffe? Those are great. I'm not sure if we'll see any today, but keep your eyes peeled. I wonder what Nugget's favorite safari animal is. A penguin. I don't think we'll see any of those out in this heat. All right, let's get this safari started. There were four monkeys hanging out. And then two more monkeys joined them. We can make an addition problem to show what's going on here, but I need your help filling in the numbers. For our first number, we need to know how many monkeys there were in the first group. Yuna, how many monkeys were in the first group? Um, is it five monkeys? There were four monkeys in the first group. For the second number, we need to know how many monkeys were in the second group. Yuna, how many monkeys were there in the second group? Um, is it three monkeys? There were two monkeys in the second group. That means that our addition problem is four plus two. Yay! We can add four plus two to figure out how many monkeys there are in total. Yuna, what is four plus two? Tap the microphone button when you're ready to answer. I know that one. It's six monkeys. Super! That means that there are six monkeys all together. <laughs> Nugget, I think I see some lions over this way. There were five lions in a field, and then three more lions joined them. To find the total number of lions, we can do an addition problem, but I need your help filling in the numbers. For our first number, we need to know how many lions there were in the first group. Yuna, how many lions were in the first group? Hmm, I see five lions. Fabulous! For the second number, we need to count the lions in the second group. Yuna, how many lions were there in the second group? Um, there are three lions. Great! That means that our addition problem is five plus three. Yay! Next, we can add 5 plus 3 to get the total number lions. Yuna, what is 5 plus 3? Take your time. I know that. It's 8 lions. Awesome. This means that there are 8 lions all together. <laughs> Nugget, if we hurry up, we can get to the elephants. Wow! There was a group of 8 elephants in the savanna. Actually, some of them are standing on top of the other ones. But then, one more elephant joined them. We can make an addition problem to add them together. Yuna, can you tell me the numbers we have to add? Take your time. Um, it's 8 plus 1. Wonderful! Next, we can add 8 plus 1 to figure out how many elephants there are in total. Yuna, what is 8 plus 1? Take your time. I think it's 9 elephants. Correct! This means that there are 9 elephants altogether. Congratulations! You've earned the Elephant Award for adding with elephants. Nugget, if we make a little detour, we might get to see some bears. Two bears were going for a walk, and then they saw six of their friends playing. Wow, those bears are real acrobats. We can make an addition problem to add the bears together. 
Yuna, can you tell me the numbers we have to add? Take your time. Um, it's 2 plus 6. Fantastic! We need to add 2 plus 6. Next, we can add 2 plus 6 to get the total. Yuna, what is 2 plus 6? Take your time. I think it's 8 bears. Correct! This means that there are 8 bears all together. This has been a fun trip! For the last couple of problems, let's look at some different kinds of trips. You'll have to use your imagination, but I'm always here to help! Yay! Nugget walked 3 miles on the first day of her safari. She walked 3 more miles on her second day. How far did she walk in total? Let's see. On the first day, Nugget walked 3 miles, so we'll start with 3. And then she walked 3 more miles the next day. So we need to add 3 plus 3. Yuna, do you know what 3 plus 3 is? Take your time. Oh, I know. It's 6 miles. Spectacular! So Nugget walked 6 miles in total. That sounds like a lot of walking. <laughs> All right, our next story problem is about me. On Maya's safari, she spent five nights camping and two nights at a hotel. How many nights was her trip? This one's a bit different because it's about time, but we can still make an addition problem. First, Maya spent five nights camping, so we'll start with five and then she spent two nights at a hotel. That gives us five plus two. Yuna, do you know what five plus two is? Take your time. I think it's seven nights. Wonderful. This means that Maya spent seven nights in total on her trip. Awesome! Congratulations. You've earned the camping award for doing an addition problem about camping. You made it through all of the addition activities. I'm so proud of your hard work. Remember, you'll have some practice pages you can work on later. Just nicely ask someone at home to print them for you. The next lesson is called Addition Up to 10. We'll do some story problems involving sandcastles and trains. I'm looking forward to doing more adding with you soon. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Take care. Thank you for learning along with me. You can take this super teacher lesson yourself or hundreds of other lessons in reading, math, and more. Here's one of my other friends doing a super teacher lesson all on their own. That's funny. Two, stop dancing and get back here. Lily, where is the two supposed to go? Under the five and the seven. What was so funny? The two is dancing. <laughs> Check out superteacherapp.com or download the app to get started yourself. Like and subscribe to the Super Teacher channel so you can watch more lessons with me. Can't wait to learn more together.